At this very moment, millions of job seekers are on the hunt for their ideal role, taking their next career leap or their very first step into work. But with such a vast pool of candidates, how can we crack the code of finding just the right one? Enter artificial intelligence, promising to match the right candidate to the right job every time. We found that two in five businesses are already using AI to create job adverts, screen job applications and CVs, source and screen candidates, schedule interviews, and ensure there is no biased language in their job descriptions. Some companies take it a step further and use AI-powered assessments via chatbots or video recordings to test the abilities of candidates. But AI has its limits. It can struggle to understand accents, dialects, and lacks emotional intelligence. That's why four in five job seekers prefer to have human involvement during interviews, as well as the decision-making process afterwards. There are also legitimate concerns around the use of AI, as these systems can reflect the unconscious biases of their developers or the data involved in the training of the system. These biases often result from underrepresentation of women and minorities in the world of data and AI and the undersampling of these groups. For example, only one in five AI and data professionals in the UK are women. Currently, there is no AI-specific regulation, but UK GDPR laws protect candidates from adverse results of this technology. So, job seekers are not ready to face a humanist recruitment process just yet. In fact, almost half, 47%, say a competent and responsive hiring manager is the cornerstone of a positive candidate experience. But what happens after the hire? If AI gets too good, could it actually replace workers? People have worried about machines replacing them ever since the Industrial Revolution. While these concerns weren't unfounded, it wasn't the end of work. In fact, the number of jobs grew. And fear not. AI will also create more jobs than it replaces. The World Economic Forum predicted that 85 million jobs could be replaced by machines by 2025, but 97 million new jobs could be created in the meantime. Currently, one in four companies are adopting AI because of labor or skills shortages, not to replace workers. But workers' perceptions are still divided. Two in five workers say they don't have the necessary skills to make the most of AI tools available in their workplace. If anything, AI creates the opportunity to work more efficiently. And, as humans, we still hold the leading role. Employers and governments can be positive changemakers by helping people leverage AI to make their tasks easier and to complete them faster. In fact, one in five businesses say they expect their business to take steps to educate and train staff in using AI to improve their productivity. So, are you ready for the next revolution of work? <laughs>